Hello and welcome back to the Fat Guys. George Sean here with Swedish Joe says hi. I got new glasses. Fun fact. It's a fun fact. So today we are drinking from Printers Ale Manufacturing Company of Carrollton, Georgia. And we are gonna start with this yellow Pilsner. Then I'll move on to the magenta amber ale. Then on to the cyan. IPA, and then end with the Black Porter. And we want to give a shout out to a great channel, Louisiana Beer Reviews. Thanks for watching us, and we recommend that you watch them as well. Starting off with this yellow Pilsner. Very, very clear yellow. yellow. Whitehead, yes. Oh, hold on, this doesn't mm -hmm. smell super pilsner-y. No, it doesn't. It smells a little more almost lemony. Yes. Well, it tastes like a pilsner. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it tastes like a pilsner. Um, it's uh, got a... It's, it's not dry, it's sort of flat almost. It um, is. I'm surprised. There's no crispness. Yeah. Which is slight should malt, be in the pills now. Yeah, slight malt sweetness. Yeah. Very slight. Um, and then again, it comes a little flat through. And then it just tastes like over beer at the end. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Alright, now to the Amber Ale. Magenta color one. It is a nice amber. Yes. It's nice, got a off white head. Looks good. Okay. Mm. It's an interesting. It's, a, yes. it's obviously a little bit of malt, but maybe there's something. A little bit of acid. Yeah, there's something acidic. Yeah. Um, and there's also, I mean, maybe is it. Mm. Fruit or something, maybe? Ra yeah, raisin? Maybe. Maybe like a raisin? Maybe raisin. Yeah, let's try it. Very dry. Very dry. It has a bitterness to it. Yeah. A little bitterness. Very dry. A little bitterness. I just can't figure out what that is. There's something. I mean, it's a hop, but it's maybe a raisin. It's like a lemony raisiny kind of thing. Yeah, but not really. I wonder if it tells us the color. Do we have the answer? Does it tell us the answer? Rich German specialty malts, Azaka, Cascade, and Centennial. Okay, so there is some citrusy aspect to it with a floral aspect. So it must be some floral. Other floral. Right. Yeah. yeah, right. Um, yeah, but again, that Swedish malt that's in there too is, uh, I think, pushing that weird flavor together. Yeah, but it's. It's actually interesting. It's a pretty decent chill beer. It's to me, it doesn't have a lot of uh, of its own personality though. It's just kind of there. Um, I think if you were trying to eat some food, maybe that you wanted the food flavor more than anything. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, right. This might be a good complimentary beer because again, it's not bad. It tastes nice, but it's just kind of very again. It's just that dry but sweet, and you know, it, it just it's kind of a weird mix. It doesn't yes. produce a whole bunch of flavor in your mouth. It's just right there under the surface. I think so too. I think the thing that sticks is the hint of bitterness. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe something a little bit sweeter. Like if you're eating something not spicy. And not too sugary, but maybe something slightly sweet. Yeah. That had just a hint of sweetness, you might be interested in it. Maybe like some cheeses or something, you know, right? Like a, a sweet cheese or goat cheese or and something. Goat cheese I think it very well. So you're trying to get that, you know, that, that flavor from the cheese and yes. you don't want to be overwhelmed, but it is good for cleansing the palate to the next cheese. <laughs> that too. There. And so. that's not bad. Yeah. You kinda like it. It's alright. Okay, now on to this Cyan IPA. IPA again. Slightly hazy, but yellow. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Tropical, tropical, tropical IPA.
quite pleasant. It has a very nice light tropical yeah. flavor. I mean, some. Maybe some exactly the tropical yeah. IPA flavor, actually. I think pineapple, maybe some lemon or orange, more orangey, a light bit of mango or something. Yeah, something. It's a mix. It's quite pleasant. This is uh, drinking beer. Yeah, this is a bit easy drinking IPA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's seven percent, so it's not messing around. No. Um, this is nice. This is good. Out of all the colors so far, this is my favorite. I know I'm supposed to wait Easy. till the end, but this is really nice. It's a good idea. Yeah. Tropical idea. Imagine being out somewhere, you know, like on the beach or in a raft or something, just having a good time. This would be, I mean, again, I mean, it's an IPA, so you wouldn't be prepared to bring that, but this is a great one just to hang out with. Absolutely. I don't have a few, would be nice. Yes. Alright, and now into this black, the robust porter. Yes, roasty, malty. What mm. you would expect from a porter. Yeah, I mean, maltiness, a bit of uh, very dark chocolate. Yeah, malty first, some roastiness, yeah. some dark, dark, dark chocolate, like, like Extremely 83%, dark. Percent, yeah. you know? At least. And the bitterness is only from that chocolatey taste. Yeah, it's not bitter like uh, too roasted or too much hops or anything like that. It's it's again, if you've ever had extreme dark chocolate, it's that there's the cocoa bean and then there's nothing more bitter done. Yeah, but this is an excellent porter. I mean, it des it's described right, a robust porter. It's, it's definitely flavorful. It's yeah. very tasty. Yeah, not bad at all. Good, good job. Printers. All right, so, I mean, this has been a nice tasting. I do like drinking Georgia beers. Uh, Some is funny. Or do, sunny. I do like the whole ink thing, you know, the yellow, magenta, cyan, black, which are printing ink colors. If the printer works. <laughs> yeah, if the printer works. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, just go open your parents' inkjet and you'll see exactly what we're talking about. But nonetheless, uh, this has been interesting. As I said, you know, I mean, none of them were offensive to me or bad. No, uh, not at all. I didn't care for the Pilsner. Me neither. The Amber was nice. You know, right? I liked the IPA a lot, and this Porter was nice. Easy. Same for me. These two are definitely first place. Okay. I mean, I'm not pissed, guys. So. Yeah, yeah, especially when there doesn't have any crispness to it. Exactly. But, but yeah, I mean, definitely check out Printer's Inc. Sample through them. Uh, I think you'll be interested and in, uh, you might enjoy yourself. So yeah. thanks for hanging out with the fat guys. Give us a thumbs up and uh, drink on.